Hey guys, welcome back for another Dokkan Battle video. Today we're going to be talking about the World Tournament Perfect Assassination Hit. Now this came out last week from the time that I, well, at least from the point that I released the video last week. Um, now this is a cool card. I don't think he's that great uh, right now when he gets Dokkan Awakening. I think he's going to be awesome. Uh, I did want to make sure to talk about him in the video. I know it's a little bit late for it, but I did want to talk about him. I feel like uh, he's going to be a very, very viable card in the future. So this is Perfect Assassination Hit. Now, he is an extreme agility unit, which means he is a villain. He's going to be on a villain's team. Unfortunately, for mono, uh, for a mono agility team, he doesn't have that many good linking buddies on the extreme side. Even when you go over to, to try and time in with super ties, it, it doesn't really work out that well. But let's talk about him. Leader ability is agility type key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 50%. Uh, I think if he gets a token awakening, he's going to be an extreme agility leader. I think it's going to be key plus two, like HP attack and defense plus 90% uh, or something like that for extreme class. So I, I I think they could do something like that. They typically do. They'll keep the key lower and they'll not give you the nice stat bumps. Uh, if not, he'll do a key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 70%, become a 70% leader. But they usually don't do that for the world tournament leads. So I could see him retaining the key plus two, but getting a nice stat buff uh, and being an extreme type leader only. Super attack is time skip, supreme damage with a medium chance to stun the enemy. I can see that going up with a, with a chance to stun the enemy, like higher than medium chance. Uh, maybe nothing, nothing, nothing more. Um, passive skill, Ace Fighter of Universe 6. Attack and defense plus 60% when performing a super attack. Medium chance to stun the attacked enemy as the first attacker in turn. Uh, with someone like him, just from the stun tactics, uh, I would say give him additionals. Now, I know before some of you come at me in the comments, there has been multiple posts trying to debunk whether uh, stuns work or don't work with a double, uh, with a double attack. Now, I personally am under the belief that you have a double chance to stun the person when you're using a super attack. There was, there's not enough evidence that suggests, and if there is, please let me know in the comments below, that, that a double stun or a double attack will not stun on the second if it doesn't stun on the first. There's no evidence that suggests that, at least that I have been able to find. So, with that being said, giving him additionals is not a bad idea. I personally would probably do half additionals, half crits. It's really not bad to diversify anyway. Uh, link skills are Supreme Warrior, Experienced Fighters, Cold Judgment, Infighter, Shocking Speed, Warriors of Universe 6. Uh, and he's part of the Universe Survival Saga category. Now really, he's not that great in terms of Link skills because he's kind of all over the place there. Um, max stats are going to be HP of 78, 46, Attack of 82, 79, and Defense of 45, 77. With base dupe system of 90, 46, Attack of, well, HP of 90, 46, Attack of 94, 79, and Defense of 57, 77. I would not recommend go doing, I mean, I gave dupes into him. I didn't use any of the potential orbs on him, and I don't recommend doing that. Uh, if you do, you do. It's not that bad. He's a global only right now. He's not on the JP side, and he's from the 22nd World Tournament. Overall, not bad. If you want to get him after the World Tournament, you're probably going to, you're really just going to have to get lucky and hopefully summon him from the World Tournament pool summons with the guaranteed SSR. Honestly, I just need one more in order to get him all four dupe paths unlocked. Hopefully, if he gets a Dokkan Awakening, when he gets a Dokkan Awakening, he will be a really good unit. I can see his attack and defense going up to 90% when performing a super attack with a uh, medium chance to attack the enemy, period. So, I can see him doing something like that. That would be pretty damn awesome. Um, and yeah, that's about it. 12 key multiplier is really low. It's a World Tournament reward, so it is 135%. He has a 30% chance to stun with his super attack and a 25% uh, percent chance to stun with his passive, resulting in an average of a 47.5 to stun the enemy with a super attack as the first attacker in turn, and that that number is going to go up when you give him additionals, or I believe it's going to go up when it gives additionals until any equivalent can actually legitimately disprove me and just say, instead of just saying it never, it's never worked in the past. So uh, that's just my opinion on the matter. In terms of linking, um, he has some good. Let's switch over to Dokong. Um, uh, no, that's that's not the one I want. Where are you? Yeah, no, this is Dokong Battle Builder and Chrome. There we go. Um, in terms of Dokkan Battle Builder, let's see, three link skills. This is the best linking buddy in game is the Strength Pycon. Experienced Fighters called Judgment Shocking Speed. Not that bad. Unfortunately, he is a uh, strength, a super type, a super strength type, and he is an extreme agility type. So unless you are running a rainbow leader like um, he is the, the LR Thousand Day Goku or the Super Battle Road Gohan or the Mass and Bardock, these two are almost never going to run on a team together. If you're doing it just for fun because you like Hit and Pycon, I mean, I kind of think they were... They're, I, I really want to say that these two are very similar characters. I would love to see those two fight in the in, with their own respective power scaling, uh, not actually taken into place. It's like the martial arts skill. Pycon, Pycon's really strong, um, and he's smart and tactical. Hit is more of a tactical fighter. 
So I feel like Hit would win in that one. But I think these two are really cool. And honestly, there's a lot of comparisons between, at least that I have seen in the past. But those are the two best linking buddies for, well, he is the, PyCon's the best linking buddy for Hit. Um, going over to Mono Agility Team, his two best linking buddies is the new Piccolo. Um, battles in the Mechian Piccolo and the ultimate Gohan. Those are the two best linkings. Two skills apiece, Shocking Speed in Fighter and Piccolo is going to be Shocking Speed Experienced Fighters. Uh, not really that great, honestly, because he's an extreme type unless you're running um, a, a, like an actual just basic agility team. These guys are never going to really be on it because you're going to want Hit to be on an extreme team. That's usually how it's going to work. Um, the other thing is he's only on the Universe Survival Saga, so you need to look into a Universe Survival Saga team, which I actually did not bring up, so we're going to do that in a second. In terms of an extreme agility team, he only links with everyone on the team for one link skill. Everyone on the left is Shocking Speed. Korra is Cold Judgment, so that's really it. He's not really that viable for any of that. If we're going to go over here, let's switch over to Universe 6 Survival. Um, Universe or Survival Saga, okay. Nothing three or more. If we switch over to two or more, he has no one. So you have to go down to one or more, and there you go. So Khalifla, um, Kale, Kefla, God Goku, and Kaba. So it's Warriors of Universe 6, Warriors of Universe 6. That's how he is with the Keflas. Um, and the Kefla, the Kefla, Khalifla, and Kale. God Goku is shocking. Obviously, this guy does not have any good link skills whatsoever. He's just a standalone unit. This guy is literally just meant for, at this point, stunning. And there are better units you could use. Honestly, I don't think he's worth it um, to actually throw him on a team. Definitely don't put Doom System in. Uh, honestly, the way the only thing I'm going to say to you guys is we're probably just going to have to sit here and wait for him to get a Doken Awakening and hope that his link skills get readjusted to be better. Because um, at this point, in terms of his links, he's really whack. Uh, so he'll almost never be getting super attacks off. If he became a little bit more self-sufficient, I could say that would be a little bit better. Uh, I mean, honestly, uh, Shocking Speed and Warriors of Universe 6 are the only two good key links that he has. Let's see, yeah, because he doesn't have anything else for that. Um, Supreme pa Supreme Warriors key plus one. But none of the Warriors of Universe 6 have so Shocking Speed, and none of the Shocking Speed characters have Warriors of Universe 6. So you're only getting a two key buff. So unless you like linking him with the Piccolo on a mono agility team, that's the only time he's going to be really viable. Um, but anyway, guys, that's really it. I just want to make sure I covered him in a review and a linking guide. Uh, just to talk about the card, I do have him. I had one, four of him. So I only need one more for one more dupe path, so I'm super hyped. But anyway, guys, again, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're new, I'll catch you down in the comments below.